In the meantime though, I have to have an arsenal of products to help make sure that sleep is happening. Hi guys, my name is Ashley and this is my newborn baby girl, Mia. She is only five weeks old. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you about my newborn essentials and must-haves. But before I get started, I do wanna mention that this video is in collaboration with a good friend of mine. Her name is Maggie Rose. She is also another YouTube mama. She has a beautiful one-year-old daughter named Aria and she is currently pregnant with baby number two. She does pregnancy updates and mommy videos just like I do here on my channel. She is also doing a video on her channel just like this one. It is her favorite baby products from birth all the way through the first year. So if you're interested in seeing what her favorites are, then be sure to head on over to her channel. I will put a link to her channel and her video down in the description box below for you guys. I have a pretty good feeling that if you guys like what you're seeing on my channel, then you are going to love what you see on her channel as well. So today I'm going to share with you my top 10 newborn essentials and must-haves. So these things aren't in any particular order. They're just the top things I automatically think of when I think of things that I need to take care of my baby girl, especially over the last couple of weeks. So the first two things I'm going to mention are actually things for me. I am a breastfeeding mama. If you've ever breastfed before, you know that your nipples get really sensitive. Sometimes they can even become cracked and bleeding, which is what happened to me in my first pregnancy. But fortunately that did not happen with this baby. And I have a feeling that it's because of this stuff, mother love nipple cream. This is the first time that I've ever used this and it's got different ingredients in it than like your traditional lanolin nipple cream. The ingredients are extra virgin olive oil, beeswax, shea butter, marshmallow root and calendula flower. When you open it up, it looks kind of like olive oil and it looks like it would be super greasy, but it's not. It soaks right into your skin. It doesn't leave any nasty greasy spots all over your bras, which is awesome. And I have not had a single problem breastfeeding this entire time. I really think that this stuff had something to do with it because it was recommended to me by a bunch of you guys who were watching my earlier videos when I was still pregnant. And I'm so glad that I tried it. The other mama item that I absolutely could not live without right now is something that I just discovered. This silicone breast pump. It's made of silicone, so it's really like squishy. Basically what I use it for, and what I think most people use it for, is when you're nursing, generally you leak on the other side, especially like in those first couple weeks when you're super engorged. And instead of just letting all of that milk go to waste, like in a burp cloth or a towel or something, you suction this thing onto the other boob and it literally sucks the milk out of your boob. Like it's incredible how much milk this thing gets out. And it gets the milk out really fast too. This thing actually stores up to four ounces of milk. And I would say that even on a day when I'm not super engorged. If I hook this thing up to the other side while she's nursing, I can guarantee it get out at least two to three ounces of milk every single time. Whoever invented this thing is an absolute genius and I wish I had this with my first pregnancy. I have a couple of pregnant mama friends and I am constantly recommending this thing to them because I love it that much. The one that I purchased comes with this like little flower silicone stopper thing that you put right in the hole. It prevents it from spilling any breast milk after you're done. All right, the next item on my list is a nursing cover, but I love this one because because it also doubles as a car seat cover. I'll put a picture in so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I also love this nursing cover because it's very thin and stretchy. You can actually kind of see like how stretchy it is because you can see my fingers through it really easily, but it's very easy to get on and off. It's very breathable. I love how soft it is. This is literally the only nursing cover I've ever used. I do have other ones. This one just happens to be my favorite. And I also use it as a car seat cover pretty much every single time I go out. The next item is a baby wrap or a baby carrier. I wanted to show you guys both because I have been using both of them with with my daughter since she was born. I started out with the softer fabric wrap. This one is called a baby Catan. I use the original one. And this is really great for when they're super tiny newborns. They can get really snuggled up nice and close to you. The fabric's really soft, so you don't have to worry about it being uncomfortable for baby. But once she basically hit the one month mark, I felt like this was too tight. Even though you're supposed to be able to use this, even with older babies, I just felt like I was like squishing her to death every time I tried to put her in it. And she also doesn't like her head being inside of it like you normally see in all the pictures. So I had to switch over to my more structured carrier, which is what she's in right now. And this is the only one that I use now with her. The one that I have is not an expensive one, which is why I love it so much. You could easily spend a couple hundred dollars on a really nice baby carrier. And I'm sure that they are very great for your back and your shoulders and have all kinds of crazy features. But to be totally honest, the one that I have is incredible. And it was the cheapest one on the market that I could find at the time that I purchased it. I believe this one's called the Infantino Flip. It is totally 
thankfully served all of the purposes that I have ever needed it for, from newborn all the way up through too big to be in it. I used it with my first baby and I'm now using it again with my second baby and I absolutely love it. The next item is cradle cap shampoo. My first baby didn't have cradle cap very badly. She had like a couple of flakes that I was easily able to get off with coconut oil, but this poor little baby has it so bad on the top of her head. I actually heard about this product on another YouTuber's video. I didn't even know they made shampoo for stuff like that. So I went ahead and ordered some and I've tried it. I think we've given her head two washes so far and I can already tell a difference. I honestly thought that it was gonna be like a too good to be true kind of a product, but it really does exactly what it says it does. And her head is already starting to heal. So I would definitely recommend this to any mamas who have a newborn that is suffering from cradle cap. My feet are going numb. Now I'm a little bit shorter. Let's see if we can adjust the camera angle without waking the baby. Okay, that's better. The last couple of items that I'm going to mention all have to do with baby sleep. Newborns are notorious for not giving you a whole lot of sleep unless you are one of those lucky mamas whose baby starts sleeping through the night like on day two. I have never met a baby that did that, but if your baby does that, tell me what your secrets are because I'd like to know them. In the meantime though, I have to have an arsenal of products to help make sure that sleep is happening. The first one is a Velcro sleep swaddle sack. To be totally honest, when I had my first baby, I tried regular swaddle blankets. I still have all of them. She was like Houdini. She would constantly get out of them. And then I was up half the night, not really getting the sleep I should have been getting because I was so worried that the blanket was gonna go over her face and suffocate her. Maybe a little overboard, I don't know. <laughs> but the point is I wasn't getting sleep. So with this baby, I was like, I'm getting one of those Velcro swaddle sacks and we are gonna try that thing and see if it works better. And oh man, I am so glad. These things are incredible. They are so Velcro-y. There is no way she could ever bust out of this thing if she tried. But my favorite part about this, and I know a lot of babies are like this, she doesn't like her arms being swaddled in. And I know that some people will say, well, their startle reflex will actually wake them up and that's kind of the point of swaddling. But honestly, it doesn't really seem to bother her, the whole startle reflex thing. So she likes to be swaddled with her arms out. She just likes to feel the confinement, I guess, the tightness of the swaddle around her body. And that really settles her down and helps her go to sleep. So this one from Halo that I got gives you that option. You can either swaddle them with their arms in or because it's kind of like a shirt, you can let their little arms stick out and you can swaddle it underneath their arms, which is what I do with her every single night. I also love that it zips up from the bottom. So if I have to do a diaper change in the middle of the night, I don't have to completely undress her and unswaddle her. I just have to let the zipper go up far enough just to reach her diaper and then I can zip her right back up when I'm done. So along with the swaddle sack, the bed that I've been having my baby sleep in is actually the Halo Bassinet. I will put a picture in for you guys if you've never seen one. It slides up right next to the side of my bed. I don't even have to get out of bed to nurse her in the middle of the night, unless she needs a diaper change, of course. But for the most part, I'm in bed all night. I can nurse her really quick. I can put her back in the bassinet and kind of move her away from the edge of the bed if I need to so that my blankets don't rustle against the side of it and wake her up. It swivels completely around 360 so that I can make it change positions if I need to. I love this thing. With my first daughter, I used a pack and play and that really hurt my back having to bend over that far to reach the bottom of it because it didn't have the bassinet insert on the top. But this thing is literally at my bed height and the fact that I don't even have to get up is incredible. And right next to my daughter's bassinet on my nightstand, I have her noise machine. This is something that again, I use with my daughter. And to be honest, my daughter, she is two years old now. She still uses it for every single nap at nighttime. A noise machine was one of the best investments we ever made because it just drowns out all of the sounds that could happen and wake her up. Like dogs barking in the middle of the night or a door slamming or something falling, you don't realize the number of random noises that happen in your house or even outside of your house until you have a sleeping baby that you don't want to wake up. So to have a sound machine going to kind of provide that white noise and like a little sound buffer to prevent them from waking up if something like that happens is absolutely invaluable. So when I found out that I was pregnant with this one, I also bought another noise machine, the same exact kind. And if we're being technical, the reason that we got the one that we have as opposed to all the other ones that are out on the market is because it's the only one that has an actual mechanical fan inside to create the whirring noise that it does. A lot of the other ones that you see are electronic noises. It'll play like rainforest noises and thunderstorms and chirping frogs and whatever it is that you want it to play. And those are great too, but I really just wanted something simple and static, literally just white noise. And that's exactly what this thing does. Let's just say I love this thing so much that even after my kids don't need them anymore, I think I'm gonna steal one of theirs and keep it in our room. The next item on my list is something that is a little bit large for me to try to pick up and show you guys but I'm gonna give it a go. We'll do a little side pass here. All right, so this is called an infant nest. It's basically just like a dock -a tot It's just a cheaper version that I found on Etsy. I'll be sure to link the Etsy shop below for you guys if you're interested in checking it out. I will also link a dock -a tot in case you guys have never heard of a dock -a tot before. I do not let my daughter 
sleep in it or take naps in it. I know some people do that with their Dockatots. However, it makes me a little bit nervous from a SIDS perspective, so I don't really let her do that. But what I do use it for is a place to set her down throughout the day. I do have a toddler that I have to take care of as well, so having a place to quickly set the baby down and know that she's safe, that really helps give me some peace of mind. So I'm super glad that we bought one of those for this baby. The very last item on my list of newborn essentials is something that is not an item per se. It is actually a free app that you can download on your phone. It's called the Glow Baby app. This app has some really cool tools in it, especially for recording nursing or bottle feeding sessions, diaper changes, and sleep. I think the one thing that I use it for the most is recording her feeding sessions because in the very beginning after your baby is born, you want to know exactly how long they're feeding for if you're breastfeeding or how much they're drinking if you're bottle feeding. You also want to know how many wet and dirty diapers they have every day. This app does all of that and I am so excited that it is free. It totally beats out having a little notebook which was my original plan and I did start using a notebook actually at first for like the first week or two and then I got tired of carrying the notebook around with me and I was like okay I have my phone anyway all the time. I need to find something that I can do on my phone that does the same thing and as soon as I found this app I was like notebook gone. Definitely go check out the Glow Baby app. So that is it for my top 10 newborn essentials and must-haves. If you guys are interested in learning more about any of the products that I mentioned in this video today, then I'll be sure to have them all linked in the box below for you guys to check out more information about them. If you liked today's video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, then definitely consider subscribing to my channel. Now it's time for you guys to head over to Maggie Rose's channel and check out her favorite baby products from birth through first year. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today and I'll see you next time. Bye!